Kamala Harris has got the, the, the field narrowed down. She oh, talked yeah. with three candidates yesterday at mm-hmm. the Naval Observatory. Mm-hmm. Josh Shapiro, governor of Pennsylvania. Yes. Tim Walls. Minnesota. Minnesota. Very good. Uh, and Potato. Uh, Mark Kelly, uh, senator from Arizona. Now, Correct. Mark Kelly says on a post on X, I spent my life in the Navy and at NASA where the mission always comes first. Now my mission is serving Arizonans. And then he pulled that down about 30 minutes after he posted it. Yeah. Because he got smacked by Kamala's team and said, what are you doing posting notes like that? So people are reading into that and thinking. Oh, you're reading the tea leaves. You're totally going, it's not going to be the guy who's as bland as wallpaper as the next VP pick. Wow, you were just relentless on him. What has he ever done to you? Nothing. I, I, I don't I'm understand. very similar to him. I understand. What, is it just self-loathing then? No, is that we're, it? We're safe. We're just not super flashy. But wow, I, you're just so angry with him. I would love him if he was like, you know what? I do love Kesha. How amazing. would like? What is like, his what Kesha? Is, what do you think it is? is I don't it, think he has is one. Is it the astronaut thing? He's like, well, I've been to space. Did you just compare being a weird Kesha fan to being an astronaut? Pablo, not, what is wrong with your boy here? Not weird Kesha fan. What? Totally, totally normal. Dude, you're in your early 40s following Kesha around the country. Oh, yeah. But I haven't since I was in my mid-30s. Oh, God. She didn't come here in, her early, in my early All 40s. right, moving forward here, yeah. bit killer. Uh, so it looks like Kelly is out skis. I mean, the the odds makers had him at about 10% anyway. They had Shapiro up over 70%. Tim Walls was kind of up at, at about 13%. He's not looking potatoes au gratin today. He's looking cold mashed potatoes. So now Walls's numbers have jumped up to about a 27% chance that he's going to be the guy. Mm-hmm. Shapiro's have come down a little bit, but they're still over 50% that it's going to be Josh Shapiro, Pennsylvania. The latest that I'm hearing, and by hearing I mean what Bing tells me, Hmm. is that uh, the announcement is going to be made tomorrow before the rally in Pennsylvania where Kamala Harris begins her swing state swing. Tour? Yeah, tour. Why does she want an announcement to be made? Why not just trot them out on stage and have it be a total secret? Wouldn't that be the best? Yeah, I, build the suspense. Why do you want to let the cat out of the bag before? How do you gain with that? Um, yeah, that's a good question. It's a good question. I said the same thing about the Republicans at the RNC. I understand why the Republicans made the announcement on Monday of the Republican National Convention rather than waiting until Wednesday night when mm-hmm. Vance spoke. And the reason is, let's draw attention in early and then try to build off that momentum. Otherwise, they've got Let's face it, the first few days of the uh, convention are just low-level speakers who are coming out, and maybe you'll get a spouse or something, and that's about it. But we've got another week or two until the DNC? We do, but they kind of impose their own um, deadline, the Democratic Party did, and a lot of that has to do with making sure that you've got the ticket— yeah, two weeks until the DNC. But you got to make sure that the ticket has been uh, solidified so that you can send it to the states officially, and then they can get their ballots printed and whatever else. Some states have put certain deadlines in, in place. But still, what is the difference of a few hours? Why do you want it to leak out as opposed to if you can have that drama of well, I don't her, think her I don't think they want it stage. to leak out. No. I don't think they do. Now, oh, I see what you're saying. Make an announcement beforehand. Um, that's a good question. So... I guess let me say this. If it is the governor of Pennsylvania, Josh Shapiro, mm-hmm. and they are running in Pennsylvania, they're doing this big thing in Philadelphia. That's the first speech that she's going mean, to do is isn't in that, Philadelphia. Isn't that to try to gin up the enthusiasm of the people that are going to going to be there? Hmm. I mean, certainly if it's not him, you wouldn't want to announce early. True. But right? I- because if, it, if it's not him... That would deflate people, and they might not show up. So but now would, you want people to show up. But I would counter that and just say, if you don't know who it's going to be, don't you go because you're excited? And you might, it could be him, it could be anybody, but it's historical. You're going to be where the first VP speech, pick, whatever, is announced. So don't you want to go for that being the sole reason to go? Some people will, but I think if you're in the home state of the governor who's on the short list— that 
If they don't tell you ahead of time, then that means they plan on surprising you with it's not him. Hmm. That's how I read into it. Because if it's not him, you definitely don't announce it ahead of time. And it's not usually. And I don't think they want to make an announcement. Let's suppose that it's Tim Walls from, from Minnesota. And they're in Philadelphia and they go, please welcome my running mate, Tim Walls. The crowd's going to be like, wait, Who? that's not our guy. But isn't. What, what what's the stat? It's like the last several VP picks that have been made. The first place where the presidential candidate speaks is the VP is not from it's that not state. Been state. Right. When the VP is unveiled. Yeah. I, I don't bother me at all. Yeah. I mean, you take a look back. And go, okay. Well, what, what were you going to do? Have uh, the Republican National Convention in Alaska when they announced Sarah Palin? You betcha. I mean, they announced the the. J.D. Vance, who's from Ohio, in Wisconsin, right? I mean, it's in Ohio many cases. Swing state in many like cases, they're be. making the announcement in a different state because that's where the convention is, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of times, they're making the announcement at the convention. Other times, when it's you know, Mike Pence, what are you going to do? Go rally in Indiana? Nobody wants to be in Indiana. People in Indiana don't want to be in Indiana. I have family in Indiana. They can't wait to visit us somewhere else. Mm. So no, you don't want to go back to Indiana. So I, I wouldn't read too much into that streak. Uh, I think they do want to be in Pennsylvania, and I think they want to be in Pennsylvania a lot because it is the state that they need more than any other. Is it fair to say that Pennsylvania is the Keystone State? On many levels, it is. Pablo, did you get that? Yeah, okay, Pablo got it, yeah. How come you laugh at all his jokes, Pablo? That wasn't even that good. I'm funny. That wasn't even that good. And you're giving him like a five-star giggle in there. He knows that I need the positive I mean, They're Gen X jokes. I get them. That's right. Oh, okay. All right. Hilarious people right here. Mm. Hilarious people. So it was like a dad joke almost. So let me ask you this. Yeah. While you were trying to shoot holes in my theory that it is going to be Josh Shapiro and they're going to make the announcement, mm -hmm. do you have reason to believe otherwise? Um, the reason to believe otherwise is you've pointed out that uh, Josh Shapiro was Jewish and that that could cost Kamala a number of votes. Mm -hmm. That makes me think it could be Tim Walls. Um, I don't think it's going to be Mark Kelly at this point. I don't think Kamala needs somebody who is super exciting, at, which would not be Mark Kelly either. But for one reason or another, I think they just feel like they don't need Mark Kelly. And maybe she feels like she needs an older, steadier hand, and Tim Walls would give that to her. Um, but that would be the only thing I could say for Walls. If you were to put odds on it right now, who and we don't know when that announcement is coming down. Sometime between now and our understanding is from the beginning of that, uh, that rally tomorrow, which I can't find a start time on this, but I'm, I'm sure it's out there. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what would you put the odds at? And okay. just give me percentages. Don't don't give me like ten to ones or anything like that. Just regular percentages, easy to understand. All right, I will say fifty percent Josh Shapiro. Okay. I will say thirty five percent chance Tim Walls, ten percent chance Kelly, five percent chance total wild card. Whether that be uh, Buttigieg or uh, one of the other governors' names who we've heard thrown about out there. Who's the governor of uh, Kentucky? Bashir. Bashir. Man, I would love to see. I would like it to be Mark Kelly. How great would that be for Arizona? It'd be great, but I would love to see the curveball that you're talking about. I'd love to see that that five percent, that big curveball thrown. To me, that would be great. That'd be fantastic because we wouldn't see it coming. It would give us some buzz, and obviously, listen. Let's face it. Joe and I are here because we want you to listen longer. The more intriguing it is, the more likely you are to listen, right? So, I, I mean, I would love that. I just don't think it's going to happen. Doesn't I, Mark Kelly give you the most storylines, though? I, I think he does. He does. He's an Arizona guy. Yeah. We can l learn the exciting things about Mark Kelly. They say that, at best, a vice presidential running mate could get you one-half to one-percent bump in their home state. But the, that could be a huge deal in a swing state like Arizona. One percent? Could be everything. Of course it could. I mean, you and I laugh and we what? say, go, 1%. Pfft. But I'm not laughing. But name, name a swing state more important than Arizona. Pennsylvania. That's it. Ta-da! No, that's it. That's it. I think that's what it all comes down to. They're banking on that half to 1% in order to hang on to the Keystone State. Yep. Thanks for watching the Chris and Joe Show. Click to see more from Chris and Joe and tap the button in the middle to subscribe to KTAR News.